edit it. Mate. Yeah, it's all right. <laughs> it's, it's not hard. It's 293 ewes. We should get 419 lambs. Good morning, everyone. So as you can see from the title, we're scanning, Craig scanning our ewes today. About 1,300 to do. Um, a few merinos down there. These are the crossbreds. And then a few stud ewes. Hey, hey, hey. Push them up. So in this mob here, the, there's some AI, 110 AI stud ewes as well. They've got a little zero on their back. So pretty keen to see how they go, considering it's our first time doing AI. So it'd be cool to see what percentage we get out of them. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. It goes very quick, so it um, can be a battle to, to keep the sheep up to them. Go. Go. Sit. Sit, shake. Sit, shake. So the sheep comes in, yep. then you stick your hand between her legs. Yeah, on the on the flank, under the flank. Yep. yep. And then, and we, then what are you looking for? So we're right here, we're, we're in the stomach, and when I move forward, fan through will come into the uterus. Yep. So that, that black stuff you can see is amniotic fluid. Yep. And just what you can see in the middle there is the sheep's, um, is the little lamb's trunk, or what, or what we call his body. Yep. It's, um, it's got its rib cage there, it's moving about. And we'll go down to his head. There's his head there. Oh, yeah. There's a little. Yep. Yep, you can see the socket. And... Yep. Yep. This is a good one. We've got two in the sun. So, that white line you can see on the edge yep. is the uterus wall. So, we're at the start of the uterus now. So, we come in and uh, we've got one here, one lamb there. Yep. And then we go through and we've got another lamb here. And that, you can see his little, his little body there and his little lungs and his heart. Yeah, yeah. Just see, and those little round donut things you can see. Yep. They're they're cotyledons, so they're they're like pretty much like your yeah, umbilical cord, I suppose. Yep. What um they used to feed them. So we've got another one. This is this is a good image. So we're at the start of the uterus. We come in, we fan through. We've got his little head there, and then we go to his body, and we're out the other side. Yep. So uh, <laughs> yeah, there's his little, little rib cage there. Yep. And then we can come to his little head there. So it's just one nice little yeah, well. They're all pretty even, they're all pretty much the same size. So yeah, that's good. Yep. This one here is a set of twins. So we've got coming into the uterus, amniotic fluid, one lamb here, and then we've got another lamb on the on the right there. Yeah. There's, it's a big one, there's these there's these there's little black dots you can see in his between his ribs there is his lungs and yep. Stops me. Uh, he's, uh, yeah, he's facing that way. No, that's right. When he turns around, we'll be right. So, that's, yeah. It's pretty cool when you can see the heart pumping. Heart pumping, yeah. 
it's, 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 it's just just can't. It's, see hard, it. it's hard to see, but it's just there. Yeah, right, eh? There's one there, one, one there. I don't know if you can see him. Can you see him? Yeah. Yeah, well, one, 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 one there. head there, yep. Yeah. And there's his body for that one. So you've got a, there's one in this pocket and one in that pocket. Yep, yep. Yeah, that's, that's a pretty good picture, that one. That, 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 I don't normally get much more than that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's probably... And does it, does it affect the image, like the wool length or anything, or the fat? The fat yeah, the fat, yeah, when they're fat, yeah. yeah. But not, 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 the the, um, not the wool, no. Nah, yeah. Because nah, where, where I come on the flank there, there's... Yeah, there's Nothing, really. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So were the pole dorsets harder than the merinos? Uh, yeah, that, oh, they were a little bit, um, just because they were a lot higher. Yeah. These ones are just sitting really low. Yeah. So I'm not, not having to push real hard. This one, this one here is pretty big. So this, this would have been my first cycle one. Right. So this one's about sort of 90 days. Yep. You see his little ribs there properly now. There's his heart. Yep. Pumping. Yeah, you can see it pumping. Yep. And then uh, we'll go to his head. You can probably see his eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Huh. And his little nose. His little... His neck. I'm down to his ribs and then his legs are down here. Yeah. Taking hold of the moment as we discover every color filled with wonder. Now we finally see we got everything we need. Here we go. All we need is an open road and a chance to see a never ending world that's beautiful. Here we Alrighty, go. so there we go. It's um. It's actually the next day now. Um, I did try to finish that video off yesterday afternoon, but it didn't end up how, how I liked it. And I had to go to footy training, so I've, it's the next day now. I've just got home and I just want to finish this off a bit better than I did. Um, so what what did we get out of this? What's the main reason we, we ski in our ewes? Um, it's so that we can, we can split up the twins and the singles and the twins we can look after a lot better because obviously they're carrying two lambs so they need a lot more nutrition oh not a lot they need more nutrition um, than than the single ewes do and the dries so that's that's the biggest reason that that people um, preg scan their ewes and it's becoming more and more common I was talking to Jason yesterday the, the fellow who scanned them and um, it is becoming a lot more popular like he's going seven days a week at the moment and uh, he can he can go through some numbers in a day too the day be, the day before he did ours. He did uh, 2,700 sheep, and um, which is pretty good going. Um, yesterday we did about oh, 1,200, um, and that he didn't get here till 10:30ish, and, and we finished it at about four. So that that's pretty good going as well. He said it also depends on the, on the timing of of you know how 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 progressed they are and stuff. How many days days into the pregnancy they are. And figure-wise, at the end of it, we got a we got a percentage. So, so for example, our stud use. Well, let's start off with the AI use. So we, we, if you remember, we, me talking about it in a previous video, we AI'd about 107 or eight use stud fold dorset use on the 10th of December, and out of them, we got 72 in lamb, which is actually a pretty good percentage. Um, you know, we were told around that 60 to 70 percent in lamb, um, which is which is really good. And obviously, the benefit of AI is is getting getting uh, good genetics and and different different genetics. So that's we were pretty happy with that. So the rest of the rest of the stud used, they scanned at 143 percent. So what that means is, so there was a total of 365 stud used. So if we take the 72 off that. 365 minus 72 is 293 ewes. So if we take that 293 ewes and times that by 1.43, so that equals 418 lambs. And that accounts for the dries, the singles, and the twins. So that's worked out as a percentage. So out of, out of those uh, 293 ewes, we should get 419 lambs. If you're interested in that, in that 290 ewes, there was there was 32 empty, 103 singles, and 158 twins. So 
we we're happy with that. And so this isn't the only this isn't the only scanning we'll do. Um, so another advantage of scanning is we got we picked out the dry use, so they'll go back out with a ram um, for a September lamb, I guess it'll be. So we'll they'll get scanned. The ram will go back out now. And then we've also got rams out with, with um, more crossbred ewes as well at the moment. And so Jason will come back on, I think it's late May, and he'll scan the rest of the sheep. All the sheep up at the other place is about 1,100, I think. Plus the uh, there might be still five or 600 here to do. He'll come back and scan them. And so, yeah, another advantage of, of scanning is that we got to see, pick out the dry ewes in in all these sheep and they'll go back out with a ram now and get a second chance so if you got any questions about anything just just pop it down below and i'll i'll um do my best at answering them um thank you very much to jason the the scanner who let me i asked him if i could film a little bit of the ultrasound machine and how he how he sees things on there and he, he couldn't have been more willing to to help me so thanks very much i appreciate that um hope you learned something i certainly certainly did um and with that we'll um we'll catch you in the next one all right you guys see ya bye